Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 10th, 2020. So today we have Pyromorphite Patience. So <laughs> this goes along with a lot of the messages we've gotten over the past several days where you're learning to process, you're learning to awaken within yourself, right? Not look outside of you for some guru to dictate what that looks like or what you should be doing to make that happen. I mean, there are things that work, nothing wrong with learning from one another, but we get into this worshipy kind of mode, okay? I'm coming back to patience here in a moment, but we get into this worshipy mode because we don't think we have the knowledge inside of us. So years ago, there were certain practitioners out there who had quite, quite the following, and when they weren't there anymore, as a spiritual practitioner myself, do you know what happened? Everyone came knocking at my door. And some would even say, I need a replacement for this guru who went away. You're second best, so I'll come on over to you. So we don't want to do this thing. We want to, have, again, I'm coming back to this message here of patience. But we don't want to do this thing of worshiping a guru. But you don't want to overcorrect. I've heard people say, oh, I don't get readings from anybody else. I, I get my own messages. Wow. You have every perspective that there ever was in your one brain? That's interesting. Do tell. I trust my own insight. You know, all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we don't want to overcorrect. We want to have connections with others because others have something to offer, even if it is just their perspective, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you have to take criticism off of people. It's none of that. But when we talk about this patience card, a lot of times why we act in those very uh, polarized kind of ways is because we're trying to hurry up and get to our happy place. I'm going to hurry up and listen to, and it's an act of desperation actually, I'm going to go listen to this guru so I can hurry up and work on myself and get to my happy place. Or I'm going to reject everything that anybody else is putting out there because I know everything and I know if I just lean on my own resources, which is a good thing to do, but not in an egotistical way, right? I, if I lean on my own, that's going to be hurry up and get to my path of happiness. We're going to be in the middle here. <laughs> what is wrong with letting things move at a beautiful pace, like at a beautiful slow pace even? There's a lot to learn along the way. I always use this example. When I go for a hike, I don't go out with the intention of conquering nature. I don't have anything to prove. <laughs> I go out to connect with nature. And so I choose moderate trails, not easy ones. Those, I find those a little boring, but I like the moderate ones. And I take my time and I feel my body and I stop when I want to see the view. There's this one place uh, up in Cheyenne Mountain where there's like a little valley there. And on the trail, for whatever reason, there are all these hummingbirds and they just hover there. I, I've stood for 10 minutes watching hummingbirds. <laughs> I mean, it's just an amazing experience. When we rush through our lives, if we're trying to get to our happiness, we miss the happiness that's already on offer for us. And you'll always, you, you always forget that, right? <laughs> you'll forget and you will we'll have missed a good portion that could teach you something that could bring you peace, could bring you joy. So don't be in a hurry and don't get polarized in your thinking, okay? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.